explaining lesson. Viviana Contreras Pinochet, Tiare Hake Size. What is the ACA? It is the name of the theory of the process by which we acquire a second language. This is mainly a subconscious process which happens while we focus on communication. The four main theories with their respective approach and method are behaviorism, universal grammar, cognitivism, and the sociocultural theory. Behaviorism, this theory visualized learning under the concept of imitations, practice, reinforcement, and habit formation. In this sense, the repetition of parents take a fundamental role in the acquisition of a structure. It is expected that learning will learn the sentence parent by heart through classroom activities based on memorization. Some methods and approaches are ideolingual method and total physical response. Universal Grammar This acquisition of language as a genetic and double process, the Universal Grammar claims that all humans inherit a language faculty which shapes the form that all language may take. Hence, it comprises that system of rules, principles, and conditions that are property of human language. We don't acquire language by producing it, only by understanding it. Cognitivism It claimed that language learning doesn't differ from any other sort of knowledge. These theories are related to the mental aspect of learning. According to cognitivism theories, learning are a central part in the acquisition process since the responsibility of practicing and learning parent rests upon them. Learning is internal and is a result of a student processing and organizing new information. Social cultural theory. Language learning arises from social interaction. The social and individual factors are comparable in terms of relevance because language is an interaction of both components. Sociocultural theories assume that the cognitive process begins as an external socialized major activity and then they are eventually acquired. The true direction of the development of thinking is not from the individual to the social, but from the social to the individual. Vygotsky. Authors of ECL theories. Behaviorism. Skinner. Universal Grammar Crushing Cognitivism Rammelhardt McClellan Social Cultural Theory Vygotsky Landorf Why are important easy theories for lesson plan? Theories provide a basis to understand how people learn and a way to explain, describe, analyze, and predict learning. In that sense, a theory helps make more informed decisions around the design, development, and delivery of learning.
you also have to consider some factors such as possible problem when planning for a heterogeneous group. Some of the specific problems teachers face in working with mixed ability groups are the following. How to teach the student and ensure learning. How to make sure that they all learn. How to get them from different needs how to choose suitable materials. Most of the material in the market is given to a single level, which is too easy for some and too difficult for others. This can lead to learners getting bored, ceasing to pay attention, and possibly disrupting the class. How to get them from different interests. What piece to use, too fast, too slow, One level of difficulty, how to reach individuals with different learning styles. Some ideas that can help mixed group are keeping them motivated, break his or her teaching to reach an optimal overall balance. Variation can occur on many different plans. Level, peace, amount, demand on the learners, classroom organization, Teacher fronted, group work or individualized, you can create games, have visual material, super material, etc. What is a good lesson planning? What are its main elements and general requirements? What are possible challenges in a Chilean context? A good lesson planning must have an adequate structure. Preview. Giving the students an overview of the day's lesson convinces a sense that there is a definitive purpose and plan behind the day's activities. This step may be done either before or after any warm-up activities. Warm-up. A lesson after start with a brief activity that is relatively lively. Its main function is to generate a good class to atmosphere but it can also be used for reviewing material from previous lessons or introducing new materials in the day's lesson. Incidentally, the warm-up tends to set the tone for the lesson, and if it involves real communication, it will tend to reinforce the importance of genuine communication right from the beginning of the class period. Main Activities These are the main course of the day's menu. The more demanding activities to which most of the lesson will be dubbed. Optional activity. This is an activity that you hope to use but are ready to use it if you are running out of time. Normally, I simply design one of my main activities as optional by marking it if time allows in my lesson plan. Reserve or spare tire activity. This is an activity that is not a key part of your lesson plan, but you have it available in case the other part of your lesson go more quickly than planned, leaving you with unexpected time. And other note or lesson plans, timing. Note that the lesson plan includes an estimated time for each activity. Initially, you may have trouble accurately estimating how much time any given activity will take. However, planning an approximate time for activities and even writing the time into your lesson plan is still a good idea. Doing so allows you to see how your actual chronological progress through the lesson period is matching up with what you have planned so that you are more quickly alerted to the need to begin taking remedial measures, such as speeding the activity up, slowing things down, or preparing plan B. Closure. Note that a specifically designated closing step is written into most of the activities in the sample lesson plan. A student generally feel better about ending an activities if it is somehow wrapped up and concluded rather than simply stopped. So the closing should be part of the plan. 
The closure is terminated not very long. For example, having a student quickly report what happened during their practice is a quick, light way to give a sense of closure to the activities in the plan. A teacher comment or suggestion could also provide closure. Brighty. Note that while the lesson plan emphasizes oral skills practice, a dictation activity is also included to provide a break from the heavy diet of a speaking practice. A student generally stay more alert if activities vary during a class period.